Uh, good morning, honorable members and colleagues. Uh, good morning. 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 Um, I'm not sure whether we've got sufficient members. We need to start our visual meeting. Um, I will try later to show uh, my face, but I don't want to because of I'm a little bit emotionally drained. I'm going to chair the meeting as per the request by the speaker. So we will be starting our meeting as per the notice issued by the legislature. This meeting is in honor of one of our own, one of our dedicated member of the legislature. So let us then uh, start our meeting by observing a, a, a moment of silence, a silent prayer and meditation. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, honorable members of the legislature. Let me take this opportunity to welcome everyone present, our presiding officers present, the speaker is also present in our meeting, but unfortunately, due to some of the activities in our country, both of losing our loved ones as well as uh, the chaos that we are experiencing in this country. Currently, she's uh, unable to chair this session. So I will chair, I will chair the session. Let me then recognize all the members of the executive MECs who have joined us. Let me uh, recognize the family of More who are present in this meeting, in this uh, memorial service. Let me recognize the DA who have lost their dedicated member. One of the son of the soul. You know, I mean, More is one of those guys that I've had my own fights with him. But two seconds later, you'll never know or you won't even see that there was ever an alteration between the two. An un unassuming member of the legislature, quiet but very focused on trying to serve the people of Gauteng and, of course, the people of South Africa. We want to now recognize the DA for having produced such a good member, such a good member of society to assist in improving the lives of our people in this country. Let me recognize and thank all members who have joined in, in this session and thank the members in their numbers they've managed to come and give support to the family, support to his political party, and of course support to some of the members of the staff, particularly for those that were working for the DA. I'm going to ask that we invite um, one of our staff members, to sing, to lead us in the singing of the national anthem, and also ask all members to please stand up and participate in the singing of the national anthem. Also request that when the singing of the national anthem is happening, no noise should actually 
be heard from wherever we are. May we start with the singing of the national anthem. apologize for, for that because we thought the member that the member of staff that was assigned to sing the national anthem was going to do it perfectly but unfortunately it seems uh, something went wrong i still believe that we can arrange the singing of the national anthem when we close our meeting. Um, I'm now going to start with the few announcements. Uh, the few announcements in, as you might know, um, in the past weeks, we lost one of our own, Dr. Uh, More who was the honorable member of the legislature for quite some time. He was an honorable member for full two terms for the Gauteng legislature. This was going to be his third uh, term. And we also lost through COVID um, the mayor of the city of Johannesburg. Mr. Jeff Makubu, uh, who died on, I think it's on Sunday, or no, on, Man on Saturday, because of COVID. Friday. Friday, Friday sorry. Uh, we also have lost two of our staff members uh, because of COVID, and that's one. Another reason why our speaker have not joined us um, today because she doesn't feel okay. We have lost Miss uh, uh, Mailula, who used to work at supply chain as a supply chain officer, and of course he was the protocol assistant. I'm sure a number of our members have had interaction with her. We also have lost uh, Mr. Namkize, 
you know, a survivor of cancer. This one really hurts me a lot when I talk about it. And she recently died. Uh, she was a senior admin secretary in the office of the speaker. Um, there's someone who keep on making noise. It's Mam C. Uh, Mam C. M. Can we then request that you mute? The, she was a senior secretary in the office of the speaker, and she arrived in the in the legislature in 2016 as an intern. And these are the members that uh, the staff of uh, officials that used to assist us with protocol uh, protocol issues. We have also lost um, the free Mandela campaign and that they operate. Also died yesterday. Uh, she had a long, a long sickness, and I'm not sure whether that could also play the role in his death. We have also lost a number of community members because of the chaos that is happening in our country, the looting of our shop destruction of infrastructure and the destruction of economic development agency being off to an extent um, SNDF had to be invited to deploy different countries. May I then request that as leadership in Houting we need to really play a role, making sure that there is calm, we need to be exemplary to our communities, do what other provinces have done. You know, in Eastern Cape, in Pulu, in Limpopo, there's even loud hailing where leaders are informing communities not to participate in this destruction. And I think we need to do the same in Gauteng, engage with our communities, talk to our communities. These are the people who have voted us to be where we are, to serve them. We've taken an oath that will then serve, but also defend and protect the constitution of this country. Let us then go out and engage with our people, talk to them that this thing must actually come to a stop. Whoever that is behind it, law enforcement agencies need to act as soon as possible and deal with this person decisively. And I think we need to pray for our country, for our people, that whatever that is happening, the country, the world must actually stop. Let's ask God to intervene, to really, really assist in making sure that the, to intervene in the destruction that we are seeing on a daily basis and also the loss of life through COVID, uh, we want to see things going down as soon as possible. Let's all stay safe as members. Let's make sure that we wear our mask, we avoid crowded places, we wash our hands regularly. Those that are between the age of 35 upwards and 90 or 100, Go out 3540, please register a day, two days from now, and go and get your jab. Those that are over 50 and uh, must also make sure that they get their uh, injection. Stay safe. We love you. We want to see you participating in this legislature. With those words, again, let's observe a moment of, of, of silence for those who have departed. Thank you very much. One of the numbers. May the soul rest in peace. We'll now start with our meeting. Uh, with the first speaker will be. I've invited the family. Uh, we've requested that our staff members need to make sure that at least the family is properly connected. 
so that they should be part and parcel of this um, memorial service. I'm sure the members of DA and other community members are, have been assisted to also connect through other media platforms, YouTube, Facebook, and others. I'll now call upon Honorable Member Tulani Ndlubu uh, to come on stage and speak. Thanks, Honorable Tulani. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair of Chess, uh, Honorable Speaker and Deputy Speaker, Honorable Premier, members of the Executive, uh, Chief Whip of the Majority Party, members of the Legislature and the people of Gauteng. It saddens me to bid uh, farewell to a young patriot. His life spent in saving our country and the people in this province of Gauteng. Honorable More grew up in the township and the expectation would have been to support either ANC or PAC, uh, these being the liberation movements which brought freedom to our country. But he chose to serve our people through the Democratic Alliance as his instrument to show love and patriotism to this country. Honorable Mure, you are commended for taking such a stance as that stance you took validated the position of the African National Congress, the position which seeks to build a non-racial, non-sexist and democratic South Africa. To the family, we would like to pass the message of condolences. Your loss is our loss, but be comforted that you have gifted us a true patriot whose passion to see the development of Houting as a maker of sports and arts champions. He so wished because he knew that our future lies with our kids, whose development through sports and arts will provide a balanced citizens. Be comforted for you availed to the people of Houting, a diligent and loyal servant. Let me borrow from the book of the Second Corinthians 1, verse 4. It reads, Who comforts us in all our, our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort those who are, in, who are in any trouble with the comfort which we ourselves are comforted by God. Close quote. Our hope is on to the long time and he knows our exit in this world. May you find comfort only possible. We create a sustainable creative industry in this province. The COVID-19 saga has demonstrated how fragile is the income stream of artists in particular. We as legislators must ensure that together uh, with those stakeholders, we are fully implement uh, a plan to create this industry. The recent performance by Bafana Bafana should also concern us as a lasting honor to Honorable Murray. We must invest in grassroots sports, uh, school sports. The 1996 Cup, uh, African Cup legends hails from a sports structure which predated the democratic dispensation. We can do better. Honorable Moore, as this house, we commit ourselves to making sports and arts a key mobilization instrument uh, in our province. Honorable Moore, yours is both iconic and significant. Honorable Moore passed on the 26th of June 2021. The Freedom Charter was adopted in Clip Town by the people of South Africa on the 26th of June in 1955. As I have earlier alluded to him serving through serving the country through the DA. It was the wisdom of our forebears who seek to create an environment wherein any person will be free to choose a political party of his or her liking. 
to contextualize this significance, let me quote the preamble of the Freedom Charter, which reads, and I quote, we the people of South Africa declare for all our country and the world to know that South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white, and that no government can justly claim authority unless it is based on the will of all the people. That our people have been robbed of their forthright, of their birthright to land, liberty and peace by a form of government founded on injustices and inequality. That our country will never be prosperous or free until all our people live in brotherhood, enjoying equal rights and opportunities. That only a democratic state based on the will of all the people can secure to all their birthright without distinction of color, race, sex or belief, close quote. That Honorable Moore exercised his free will to join and serve the country through the Democratic Alliance, evidence the potency of the vision of the African National Congress. That Honorable Moore was able to serve a democratic state side by side with the ANC, demonstrate the visionary leadership of the ANC. His stance and position was essential to pushing the ANC to always do its best in serving the people of Gauteng. We will solely miss uh, Honorable More. We will miss the robust but collegial engagements in the House. Surely your big stature and the uniquely Honorable More's voice will be missed. Farewell, fellow legislator. You have done your bit to selflessly give yourself to the people of Gauteng. As Marcus Cicero would say, and I quote, the life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living, close quote. Honorable More, you will be forever missed as we keep you alive in our memories. Gufa aunoni, gufa audeli. Rest in peace, Honorable More, and thank you, Chair of Chairs. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Njobu. Um, I will now call Honorable Msimanga to take the stage. Honorable Msimanga. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Chair, um, to the Mura family, to um, colleagues who are joining uh, from different um, platforms that might be joining us. I bid you all a good morning. Chair, this morning we are gathering as we pay homage to a special man, a baobab as I would like to call him that has fallen. A baobab that contained a lot of seeds that I'm hoping that will fall on fertile soil and be able to really grow and multiply. But how swakas so to bare? How so kahala? Bang bari reo fisha, bang bari o biala, bang bari o bia. Chuali ke tepa or le bahang, kimutu ulu huring, hana koya chuali, kimutu uri ring, riyam ramu juala. Harim mi, ibil harimu fisha kahor, azangi arishabi salikhoom, kimutu ulu rum, hana ha juali, ritla muye narere, riyahu bia sinatla, ibil riyahu riyahu biala sinatla, or utla uhole, or hulele, ibil hape hape, utla urtu ele muhula, that's how we would want to remember Leboha. We would want to remember him as a thinker, as somebody that we would want to plant right now and hope that, uh, you know, a lot of Leboha will be able to rise from this. I would like to read a poem that has been really um, on my mind ever since um, the passing of Leboha. And it goes like this. Since the loss of you, I've learned to live for each day and take it as a blessing. And knowing it may not always be this way. Since the loss of you, I've learned that when everything goes wrong, 
to never give up on what is right because it can only make me strong. Since the loss of you, I've learned that even when you are in a lot of pain, you've got to hold yourself together so you won't feel like you've gone insane. Since the loss of you, I've learned how to hold the tears when I want to cry because all I have is memories and I want to ask God why. But mostly, since the loss of you, I've learned a life can be taken in the blink of an eye and only heaven really knows when that person will have to say goodbye. This, this, this poem, uh, Madam Chair of Chairs, has really brought a lot of emotions, especially looking at what is happening in this current situation that we are facing as South Africans. And you correctly say that as leaders, we need to be condemning what is happening. And I would want to borrow from Lebo's demeanor and Lebo's character that at times like this, calmness is required. At times like this, thinkers are required to then say, how do we, as a group of leaders, lead the people of South Africa in the right direction? How do we put our selfish interests aside and say, what is in the best interest of those that have elected us to serve them? And really go out and do what needs to be done. It is this time that we borrow from Lebo Hang's book and say, how do we then ensure that saving our people is the key priority of each and everything that we do on a daily basis? The bane of our existence should be to save those that have really cried out for us. I've seen on social media people saying what is happening right now is being a time bomb that has been ticking for the longest of time. Be that as it may, unemployment is rampage. Um, be that as it may, um, crime is now getting out of hand. Be that as it may, leaders are required at times like this to stand up and say, not in my name, not in my community's name, we will find solution to the problems that we are sitting with and we will do so together. That's what level would have been standing here for. We will forget everything in a couple of years time. But one thing that we can never forget is the teachings of humility from Lebo. Is the teachings that even when you are insulted, you can still remain the bigger person. We can forget everything else, but we will always remember that if we are elected, we are not elected for our own jackets, but we are elected to represent the aspirations and to, to represent the hopes and dreams of those that have put us in our offices. That is something that Lebo stood for. He was somebody that would think about, before, about a lot of things before he would say that. He would think about how this will be better representing the people that put him in the office that he was. And as leaders, we need to take a page from that and say, that the Murray, you have really taught us a big lesson about life. He was also a very spiritual person. If you go onto his page, his Facebook page, you will see the songs that he used to post and comment of those in terms of the message thereof and in terms of um, the, the, the tone that had been always adopted there. He decided at a very young age that he was going to use his talent, his brains, to the betterment of the people of not only Merafo when he started his political career, but also the people of Gaute, the people of South Africa, the people of Africa and internationally. Lebo Kham was part of the African Liberal Network. He was part of the young thinkers of Africa. And he had traveled the world and he had actually taken a lot of young people as well with him as he was trying to broaden you know, the horizon of the young people and also helping grooming the next generation of leaders for our country and for Africa. I had listened to a young man who is a mayor in Botswana talking about how he had been introduced into mainstream of politics by Lebo More, who he had met a couple of years earlier. And this is why today my heart is paining to say there is a tree that has fallen. But I take joy in knowing that this tree is not falling in vain, but it has actually spread a lot of seed that will grow in fertile ground. And that one day when we look back at the period that we are in, we will say as leaders, we took example from Leoham More and we were selfless in our service. And we went out there and did what needed to be done in order to save not only this beautiful province of ours, but to act and save this beautiful country of ours and act in restoring faith 
and in ensuring that we're able to turn the misfortunes of this country into fortunes that one day our generations um, or the next generations will be able to then enjoy. To the Morefe family, Kerata Kormule na Kerkaselo na fela balela tlekhutsi. I have spoken to you quite a number of times about the passing of Lebohang and what it meant to the community, and what it meant to the DA, what it means to a number of political organizations, but what it means to Africa as a whole. And I want to leave you with uh, this verse that is uh, um, the first Colossians um, chapter 15, verse 51 to 57, and it reads, listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep but we will all be changed. In flesh, in the twinkling of an eye, in the last trumpet, for the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must cloth itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with imperishable, and the mortal uh, with mortality, they then the saying that is written will come truth. Death has been swallowed by victory. When, uh, where you, where ye death is your victory, where ye death is your sting. The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, he gives us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Dademore, you may be gone. This house will never be the same without you. But indeed, we will carry the legacy of saving the people with dignity, saving the people with humility and ensuring that each and everything that we do is aimed at first saving the people that have put their aspirations, their dreams and their hopes on all of us. Respective of our political lines, we are learning from you what it means to be a servant leader. And this is something that we are hoping that will continue to reign in this legislature for years to come. And that the fruits will be seen by those that are coming way after us and in the communities that we are serving. To entertain more rare rubalaga khoto and ke mudima kriva luena into the next life. To the people of South Africa, let peace reign. Let calm head. Let cool heads be the order of the day. Let us rebuild the dream of South Africa. The build the dream that one day a child born from Soweto will live an equal life as a child born in Santen. A child born in Hamanskral will live the same quality of life as a child born in Waterkloof. That has been Lewis' dream, and we are going to continue with that. I thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Msimanga. I'll now call uh, Honorable Mukwama from the EFF to come in. Honorable Mufama, if Honorable Mufama is not in, I haven't received any apology from from her. I'll now call upon Honorable Kosh from the DA to also come and okay. Thank you very much, ma'am. I will see that you are already on to make a speech. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. Um, I met Lebo in 2007 when we were both members of a DA youth. I can't remember much of our very first encounter except for a big guy kept on smiling. And this is how I will always remember him. We worked together for the first couple of years that we knew each other in the DA youth and he was elected as our provincial youth chairperson in 2010. Lebo, Soli, Ghana and myself visited Cape Town together in de December 2010 where we attended a course on youth development and liberalism with the Friedrich Naumann Foundation. It was during this time in, in our youth years where lasting friendships were formed. Lebo often started a conversation with me in Afrikaans, my home language, where he would ask me, Chris, hoe gaan het met jou in Pretoria? He would smile and tell me tales of his upbringing and experiences as a young leader. Lebo is one of the very few people that could start dancing without even getting off his chair to any music, from jazz, house, R&B, quarter, or even Afrikaans. He was always ready to invite me for real Afrikaans soki when we were found in a social setting. Our birthdays were close to each other, 
And I will always remember the opportunity we had in 2019 to share our birthdays together at a joint party in Vilakazi Street, Suheti. He was a gentle giant soul, someone who respected me for who I am. He never tried to change me and never judged me. This was not only towards me, but all colleagues, acquaintances and friends. He would never speak ill about anyone, regardless if they were a friend or foe. He had infinite wisdom and always ready to give advice, without criticizing or being negative. He was all round one of the most positive people I've ever known. He was in a true sense a reconciliator, a leader who was interested in learning from others, breaking down the barriers of our past to bring people together and work towards true reconciliation. When a meeting would become heated with debate, he would silently sit and observe everyone and right at the end step in to diffuse the situation of his incredible sense of humour, but mostly his wisdom. He often shared business advice with me, as we are both entrepreneurs within our own personal ranks. He would share advice on how best to invest and plan for our future. The last time we spoke on, was on the Thursday before he passed away. He sent me a message and said, Chris, I'm starting to feel better. The oxygen is helping him. I would I ever not shake, I could I ever not shake the scary feeling I had internally that our friend was not yet out of a danger zone. When I got the news, I was broken. Lebel was a big guy who always smiled, but he left a big gap, not only in my life, but in South Africa as a whole. Lebel, my friend, we joined politics as two young and energetic youth members. We grew up together in the political arena. We were supposed to have grown all together. You have left us too soon. But I want to say to the Moria family that your son, your brother, your father has laid a foundation for others to follow. He was a true example to many, and you can be extremely proud of him and the mark he has left on this world. I therefore undertake to build on his legacy that he left behind and to, to hold his torch high and to allow his smile, his passion, his calmness and resilience to shine through all of us to build and work towards a country that we dreamt and spoke about. Rest well, my friend, until we meet again. Thank you very much, Honorable Member Bosch. I've received a message that Honorable Mufama has serious um, connectivity problems, so I'm going to pass her and move to the next um, speaker uh, from Freedom, uh, Freedom Front Plus, Honorable Albert. Honorable um, Albert. <clears throat> Thank you, Madam Chair of Chairs, family, friends and colleagues of Honorable Mori. Life is precious, yet in this busy and crazy world, we tend to take each other for granted. It is mostly only when one of us is not here anymore that we tend to reflect. And upon reflection, we come to the realization again that life is indeed precious. And that is why every life deserves a celebration, a tribute. Having said that, I'm always perplexed on how one can describe a life of someone with just mere human words. It is as if a language is too limited to give honor to the life of a human being. Therefore, if my words fall short in any way, please understand that it can never diminish the worth and wonder of Honorable More's life. If anything, I do, not, I do understand the grief and sadness that goes with losing a loved one. <clears throat> I lost my father three weeks ago and the heartache is still lingering with me. However, I do know this. God sees your heartache and loves you. He will carry you through this time until you meet again. And I believe that we all will meet again. We may not understand the reasons for the passing of a loved one, but God understands and he will lead you through this time. And never forget that God loves you, an infinite love that stretches beyond death. And we must remember this, it is beyond death, a love beyond death. I did not know Honorable Mori very well, but it's my understanding that Honorable Morris' life was one dedicated to justice, as his colleagues has now testified as well, one dedicated to fixing the wrongs in our country. A life given to this virtuous endeavor is not an easy one, but a necessary, necessary one when your heart moves you to do so, and that is what he did. 
The few times I did see him, he was always friendly with a smile on his face. To be a leader in your community is also not an easy feat for the highest trees catches the most wind, but Honorable Moray was there by heeding the call of destiny. That deserves acknowledgement and respect from us. For those of us who are left behind, the task continues by following the example of Honorable Moray's life. That means we must take up the responsibility to create a just society in South Africa. We must continue building on the monument of work left behind by Honorable Moray. We must do this by ensuring we build into the hearts of South Africans a sense of hope and not desolation that is currently driving the behavior of many people to protest and destroy. We must do this by ensuring that the leaders of this country implement wise policies in a selfless manner that leads to spiritual and economic emancipation and mostly to a sense of hope and future for everyone in this country. In final, we pray God's grace and love over Honorable Morris family, friends and colleagues in the DA and this legislature. I thank you. The chairperson of committees, yeah, in the uh, absence, let me call uh, Honorable Ghana to really deliver also the message. Am I not audible? Now we are audible. Uh, we are now audible. We are now audible. Uh, no cancer, no cancer. I'm so much too low. Okay. Uh, honorable Mayor. Uh, Nakansa, Nakansa Chaperson, uh, the people of Gauteng, honorable members, the Mure and the Buinamo family. It is an honor and a, and a privilege you know, uh, to stand before you this morning. To pay tribute to a political giant, a friend, a, a colleague to all of us, a leader, and a brother. We are gathered here today to honor and celebrate the life of Honorable Lebo Mori. We continue to mourn his passing, but equally, we celebrate his contribution to the betterment of mankind, more especially South Africans. From the time we met in 2006 until his untimely passing, he conducted himself as an honorable man. He did not become honorable when he became a member of the legislature in 2013 but it was because of his honorable conduct that he was elected to serve the people of Houting. Our journey became, became, began in 2006, when together with member Ramlefo, we met at Path Station to discuss how best do we rebuild the DAU structures in Houting and in South Africa. What stood out for me about the uh, label was his way of analyzing politics, his quiet nature. So he was not one to speak a lot. He will allow myself and uh, member Ramulifo to uh, debate or discuss possible solutions. And then after listening attentively, he will come in to offer his wisdom. And I must say that on that day at Park Station, I saw a man who was committed to building a better South Africa for all her people, a selfless and a forward-looking man. He was a man 
young as he was, was passionate about youth development, both inside and outside politics. Member Murray had clarity of thoughts in terms of what needed to be done politically on how we get the structures off the ground and how we get young leaders into the DA. The whole crisscross housing, recruiting members and leaders, uh, the three of us, uh, with uh, member Ramliff and I was the youngest of the trio. That time, as uh, Honorable Ndlovu will have said, it was not very much fashionable to be black and be DA. As some of you might know, we used to, to be insulted to be called names. But in all that, I never saw a label angry or wanting to start a fight with the people that were insulting us. He kept his cool. And in the 15 years that uh, uh, we have been friends, leaders, and brothers, I've never seen him angry, not once. For ourselves and our generation, it was a big celebration when he was elected to lead the organization of African liberal youth in 2012. For we knew how much he cared for the people of the continent and how he believed in the freedom of the individual. Labour love political discussions, especially the state of our country and our continent. He was also not one to quickly rush uh, or maybe in the course of a discussion, ask what's the bottom line. He wanted things to be properly dissected. There might very well be those who believe that uh, the end justifies the means, but to label the means must justify the end. It, must, it cannot be that uh, the end is always justified by the means. With the current events that are happening in the country, when we're talking, well, if we were to talk, if he was around and we were to talk, he would ask leader, what's to be done? What does the future hold? Not only for ourselves, but for the broader society. Because Labour did not live for himself. He lived for other people. And in Lebumure, we have lost a great man, a true servant of the people. He lived with and for the people. He was a great South African, a humanist, a very, very grounded person. And I want to say to the family, Thank you very much. Thank you very much for bringing up such a great South African. May his soul continue to rest in peace. But his spirit, his spirit must live on forever. Rest in peace, my friend. Rest in peace, my leader. Rest in peace, my brother. Thank you very much, Nakens.
Thank you very much, Honorable Anna. Uh, I'm honorable to the house. I will now call upon honorable from ACDP to come in. Honorable Adams. Honorable Adams. Bishop Adams. We can hear yes. you. Yes, we can hear you. We can hear you. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so there might be connectivity problems with Honorable Adams. Okay. Not Thank you, Chair of Chairs. I've been thinking about Lebu for a while now since his passing and burial. Today, I would prefer to thank Lebu for contributing positively to my life. If I could write to Lebu, I would say the following. Hi, Lebs. You really chose an interesting time to leave this earth. You saved yourself from the unrest that our country is going through. Right now, we are living in true uncertainty. Even with that, I miss you, my friend. So many things have happened where I'm about to pick up the phone and let you know. Then, as I see your name on my screen, I remember that you are not around, but in heaven watching down. When COVID hit our shores, those who passed were people I used to know or people I saw on TV. You made it hit home. It was you, someone I knew personally, someone who sat next to me, someone who visited my home, someone who gave me a lift from time to time. I have known of friends and family passing, but in politics, we spend so much time together that we become each other's family. You really became my wake up call and truly understand understanding that COVID is really, really here and it is dangerous. Here today, gone tomorrow. Video calling on Thursday night, texting on Friday, but gone on Saturday morning. A few days ago, Tolo, another colleague of mine from the DNI were chatting. Then I said to her, hold on, let me include Lebu at this call as we used to. She had to say to me, Sorry, me. Meaning that we will eventually get used to knowing that Lebu is not around. That's the gap you've left in our lives. In Ekuruleni, during our RAC meetings, you and I would have our sidebar WhatsApp discussion, checking up and knowing how we felt about items that we were discussed. Who will I have my sidebars with now? Be my Ekuruleni DA buddy in the GPL. The whole will take a while to seal. Indeed, I have now come to understand what it meant when they say when a person close to you passes, they take a piece of you with them. Sitting next to me in the GPL, I fear the day the GPL will sit and everything will be normalized and I must take my seat and you are no longer next to me. The jokes that we shared, it's not everyone that got me the way you did. You were my rock solid friend. Thank you for always having my back. In politics, everyone needs someone like you. Whilst you were kind, you gave real lessons. To always remember that it's in politics, it's not wise to overshare your personal life and not let everyone know what I was up to outside my political life. Lebo, in your passing and death, I have gained some amazing friends and family. And to the More and the Buinamo family, I want to say to you today, I feel that you have brought back in Dr. George Buinamo into my life, who was once my political head and father. I have gained another mother. Dudu and I will continue on our sisterhood. I know I also gained a brother in Gajiso. I am hoping they know that they have gained us, the GA caucus, as another family. Whilst we can never fill the gap your parting has left, I hope they know they have gained a DA family, us. I choose not to say goodbye, but until we meet again 
And so, my dear, dear friend, I wish to say to you, long live the spirit of Livumore, long live. Thank you, Deputy Chair of, Chair of Chairs. <clears throat> I'm still the job, Chairs. I've not yet changed my title. Apologies, Chair of Chairs. Honorable Nseke. Honorable Nseke, now move to uh, the next uh, speaker. And the next speaker will be Honorable Khadembe from the EFF. We hope that she doesn't have connectivity problems as well. Honorable Khadembe. I'm here, Madam Chairs of Chairs. The Tanda Okala and the Tate Eli Chuba and the Bullis Wonke Amalunga was a Houghton legislature. The Bullis Ifemeli Agale Buhang More. The Bullis No Mama Wake Nabantana Bagoabo. Madam Chairs of Chairs, the EFF take this opportunity to send our heartfelt and deepest condolences to the family of Honorable Lebo More, his friends and family of Honorable More, and his political home, the DA. Dibuile dibuite buile nkapili, obani zona diya motseba ibile di sebedi seliana na ko etelele. Na kibilele chansi enya ne yahu ko pana le member more ha ke motsebele ba ka le letelele impa nako nyana e ke bileng le yona le yena re ne re dula re tsheya ho bane member more ine le motho a rata metlae when facing the difficult times the best feeling we can receive is comfort may our condolences bring you comfort and may our prayers ease the pain of your loss Send Kulumage, ne family yaga member more. The Houghton legislature also lost dedicated servant with humility, integrity, and skills. Mem member more serve the people of Houghton with the utmost excellence and integrity. <clears throat> At a time when the country is faced with a COVID pandemic, it is difficult to find ways that could losing the burden of such this loss but this one cuts deeply the word of god says in psalms 31 verse 18 the lord is close to the broken hearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit even in this heartful hateful time the lord is with us he will heal the broken hearts and restore our spirits runa rile mogahlo wa eff City to do, we kaya lagata to more. Umoya kalebo hamore, maula lengo gutula. We will always remember you, member more. Angeke silibale imise. Thank you very much, honorable member Hakebe. I'm now going to call um, Honorable Moriarty, who is also the leader in the DA, not the leader of the house, but the leader in the, uh, uh, in the, in the, in the Uh, thank you, Madam Chair of Chairs. Um, thank you, Madam Chair of Chairs. Thank you for the promotion. Um, I am not the um, uh, leader, but uh, certainly I, I enjoy the rank of senior whip, but thank you very much. Um, in John 11.25, we read, Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. 
and whoever lives by believing in me will never die. And that's our comfort. Uh, we rejoice in the fact that Lebo is indeed resting in peace. The pain actually is not with the person who passes on, but the pain is within those of us that remain. And indeed, there is much pain around about us in the time of this pandemic, as the Chair of Chairs has reflected, and so many of colleagues have done so as well. This is indeed tragic times. Uh, that's an understatement if ever there was one. And so there are many of us that have lost friends, loved ones, colleagues, and it leaves much pain. So the challenge is for us to remember what the Word of God did actually say. And Lebo is a believer. And so as the Word says that he believed in his Lord Jesus Christ, then so, so, so too would he live forever. And that's certainly my belief, and I know that that was Lebo's belief. And I would offer that as the comfort to the family that is gathered with us right now. On behalf of the Democratic Alliance, I would like to thank so many colleagues from across the political spectrum, even today. I have to tell you from where I sit, your words of comfort have been incredible and certainly truly welcome. And I think it is a testimony to uh, the maturity of our democracy that even though we might be political opponents, the fact that a human being, a member, a Democrat, has fallen means that we all suffer the loss. So thank you very, very much to colleagues. And what I would like to reflect on is the fact that this has been an opportunity for us to remember level and for us to share our memories. And as I've heard so many people share memories of Lebo, I, I've, I've been struck by how we have all been of the same mind, as it were. We saw Lebo and his characteristics very much the same way. Like so many of you, I have seen Lebo as the gentle giant, so to speak. I've known Lebo from his early days in the Democratic Alliance. Uh, the West Rand was still part of another region that I was a part of at that stage, and he was actively involved in our regional council. So I got to know him and his, the contributions that he would make then. But I got to know Lebo better when I became the provincial chairperson in 2010. By that time, Lebo was already making his mark as the provincial youth leader. So it was on the Provincial Executive Committee that Lebo really shone making inputs on behalf of the youth. 2013, we had a vacancy here in the Provincial Legislature and Lebo was top of the list of reserves to fill the vacancy. But such is the pr practice in our province in, in the DA that if a list is more than 12 months old, we don't automatically fill the vacancy with the next person on the list. The PEC applies its mind as to any skills and constituency void that might exist in the caucus and then uh, make a decision from there. Well, when the time came for the item to come up on the agenda, I had to turn to Lebo and ask him to recuse himself from the meeting. It didn't take long. Uh, I had to call him back again because the decision was unanimous. It was patently obvious that Lebo Mure was the right choice to fill the vacancy, and I had the happy honor to advise him so. His performance in the legislature and in his constituency has ensured that he was re-elected, um, and we re-elected him in 2014 and again in 2019. I became caucus chief whip in 2014, and Lebo was part of our team. Uh, originally, Lebo was assigned to the petitions committee, but then, we assigned him to the Sports, Arts and Culture Committee, and that's where Lebo really stood out. His, his astute performance was such that he could, he could spot maladministration and potential corruption a mile off. So in 2019, we appointed him to the position of Shadow MEC, and in this position, he actively pursued issues in respect of heritage, libraries and sports. And during this pandemic, 
as Honorable and Glover recognized, he has assiduously championed the cause of artists struggling under lockdown restrictions. As Chief Whip in my caucus, I get to choose who speaks in the legislature. And some of colleague, uh, Lebo's colleagues um, on my side of the House might be cross with me because they never got as many opportunities to speak and participate in debates as Lebo did. Because the truth is this, Lebo was greatly effective in delivering speeches. Uh, I, I had a nickname for him. If I had a nickname for him, it would be Leslie Magnatella. Not because that Lebo, I'd, I'd never seen him on a football field. It's just that the late Leslie Magnatella, who too was a young football legend taken tragically too soon, he had the nickname of Slow Poison. It seemed that Magnatella could create unexpected chances on the field out of practically nothing, just patiently building up the opportunities. So too, Lebo would score with no one really expecting it because in his debates he was calm and softly spoken, much as you knew him to be. But his prose was carefully selected, his points crafted with great consideration. He did not speak with some observers characterized normal DA style, shrill, belligerent, or overly sarcastic. Uh, sarcasm was there in appropriate measure. His tone was conversational, but his words were devastating. So the criticism that he delivered was delivered with quiet confidence, occasionally with veiled scorn. And you owe oh, those of you who are his opponents uh, only realized two or three sentences later on that you had been insulted. And then the heckling would start. But by then it was too late. Level was in his stride and remained undeter undeterred by the, the howling. So he was one of my go to guys. And sadly, like you, I will greatly miss him. The fact is, I reflect on what he would have had to say about the chaos that is uh, raging around us in this country. And I'm sure he would have been quietly critical and he would have been questioning why it is that the forces of law and order weren't anticipating this, why it is that we haven't been able to see uh, proper policing, proper behavior by many of our police uh, personnel, why it is that we haven't been able to see uh, looters arrested before the, the carnage that has been created. That was level. And so, like all of you, I remember him fondly, and I will certainly miss him greatly. Go well, my brother. God bless you, and God bless all of us. Thank you. Uh, Chairperson of committees, are you audible? Otherwise, let me call upon uh, Honorable Macheke. No, thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chair of Chess. May I humbly request that I switch off my camera as I'm using the same gadgets to read my my speech. It's OK. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chair of Chairs. Family Yaha More, Yaha Binamo, especially Mama Muira, then Tate George, Ostudu, and Morawa Pra Lebza Muteo, Molekanoaha, Tatemore, friends and colleagues, and especially the entire caucus of uh, the DA, the Premier of Gauti and Tatemakura, the Chief Whip of the Majority Party in Tatekumalo, members of the Executive Council, 
presiding officers of the legislature and members of the provincial legislature. Good morning. On behalf of the members and staff of the Portfolio Committee of Sports, Arts, Culture and Recreation, our condolences on the untimely passing of our dear member, Member More. Last week, Friday, Deputy Chair of Chairs, we dedicated half of our strategic review planning session of the committee to remember and celebrate the life of Member More. Today, we are once again here to remember and celebrate Member More with the entire community of the legislature, the family and the people of Gauteng. Losing someone lately during this difficult time of the pandemic has become part of our life. We sleep to RIPs, we wake up to RIPs. Our daily lives is unfortunately now starting to accept that the reality that at any given time, we might get news of the loss of a family member or someone close to us. However, that doesn't make it easy. As humans, a loss of life is never easy. As humans, we are emotional in nature. Though death through this pandemic has normalized, it is never easy to lose someone. The death of loved ones often takes its toll on those left behind. And at times, you can feel like grief is never ending, especially to Mamaho Talebza and to Mateo and Molekaniwa Pralebza. When we lose someone, an important part of the healing process comes with the weight of God. Therefore, allow me to read these words of God from the Bible. Psalm 73, verse 26, it reads as follows. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Through this verse, Lebu is speaking to us and he's saying, through God he has healed. Mama Muira, the following verse, as indicated by Member Murayeti, it seems like me and Member Murayeti, we think alike. Uh, it's John 11, verse 25 to 26. And, and it reads as follows. Jesus said to her, as also Member Murayet would have indicated, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who has believed in me will live, even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Therefore, Mama, if so is in the word of God that Lebo hasn't died, but lives with us forever in heaven. To all of us who have worked closely with Lebo, we must appreciate the time God has allowed us to be with Lebo, as he is now safely in heaven. Talib was such a humbly, soft-spoken and intelligent person. In the time I've spent with Lebza, I don't recall at any moment we clashed even when I was angry due towards him uh, through the processes that I will think he or member Chabalala stepped out of line. The Lebza will always remain calm even, and even laugh, at, laugh about it. Member More was one person who did not subscribe to unnecessary fights. His calmness will also make you to ultimately become calm. And he was such a comedian of note. Very funny, to be honest. When you spend or interact time with him, they will find jokes on everything. During the last sitting, even though he was not well, he sent me a screenshot of one of the attendance registers as he found it to be very funny, and he laughed about it. As our new normal has introduced us to do things mostly remotely, and he was laughing to how one of us filled the attendance register. I called all that on him on WhatsApp, but ultimately I joined him in laughing. That's the character of a uh, label. The unfortunate part is that the lives are passed on during a time when I was also just released from hospital. I think on the first day of the city, our last city, when the speaker announced that uh, during the 
apologies that member Mora was not well. He's in hospital. Uh, the day before, I was also released from hospital due to COVID-19. And I immediately sent Lebo a WhatsApp message. And I said to him, because that's how we used to call each other. Ah, Talibza. I, I've just heard that you are not well, my brother. Uh, let's hope that uh, you will come right. And he responded to say, hey, in fact, I'm admitted to hospital. Uh, I was not aware that you are also not well. Um, it's the difficulty on briefing. And I said, hey, it was also the same challenge with me. But you will be OK. But I could hear that it was not OK. Um, and I said to him, I will check on you on Friday. Then later on, I spoke to member Chavala and I said to member Chavala, member Chavala, have you spoken to member Mori? Have you checked on him? He said to me, no, no, I have spoken to him, uh, but he was a bit sleepy. I will check on him on Friday. I said, please make sure that once you check on him, uh, just report and, and, and indicate how is, is he doing. On that Friday, I could not uh, speak to member Chavala because I was also still recovering. In the early hours of the morning on Saturday, I received a call from Member Chabalala. In fact, I saw quite a number of missed calls. And I, I saw on my missed calls that uh, Member Chabalala was one. And something somehow told me that something might have happened to Member Mod. I don't know why I had that feeling. But immediately when I called Member Chabalala back, he immediately said to me, hey, in fact, uh, Lebza is no longer with us. It was a very painful moment for me, considering that I was also just released from hospital on Wednesday. But that's how life is all about. And we must appreciate that uh, God will always be there for us. One of the things that I also re uh, 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 recognize about Talebza is that uh, Talebza loved his son. I remember in one of the oversight visits when we were traveling in one common transport, somehow as if he knew that these days on earth are nearing. Out of the blue, we introduced this discussion of wills. And somehow Lebza was worried about Mateo. And he wanted advices from me and member Chabalala on how to go about finalizing his will. Unbeknown to us, maybe Lebo was planning his departure. And because of his love for his son, he wanted to make sure that he is taken care of. One of the staff members last week indicated that during their social gatherings after we have done our work as a committee, Lebza mentioned to them that he intends to get married sometime in November or December to his, to his, to his partner. And he's busy planning the marriage. By the way, Lebza was very secretive when it comes to his partner. As I have never seen him before, I was wondering if Mrena was Jola now. But again, it shows another character of Lebo, as he possibly wanted his private matters to remain private. Lebza was a dedicated member of the committee, and his contributions during the discussions were always helpful. He had an interest on the sports and recreation amendment bill, as he believed this bill might change how sports and recreation is transformed in the province and South Africa in general. His passion about oversight work and infrastructure development will forever guide us in our future interaction with, with the department. Thanks, Lebza, for your dedication to your work, my brother. We will miss you and your contribution to the family and his son and all his colleagues and friends, especially in the DA caucus. Let's accept that the will of God has been done. Farewell, Talibza. Thank you so much, Deputy Chair of Chess. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Deputy Chair of Chess. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, let me now uh, check with Mufama. The hand was up all along. Mufama, are you ready to deliver a message of condolences? Yeah, seemingly we, we don't really have Mufama, 
but this really leads us to the end of the contributions that have been prepared by members of the legislature. But before we really uh, conclude the proceedings, I want to hand over to the Secretary of the Legislature, or Ralph, to lead us to the next item where we have to hand over officially the blazer of the legislature to the family. Uh, let me give it to you, uh, Ralph. Uh, oh. Thank you. Uh, the secretary, you can continue. Yeah, good morning, members, uh, deputy chair, uh, members and our colleagues. This is a, an extraordinary sitting. Uh, as you know, the secretary or any staff member does not actually have a voice in here, but uh, I think uh, the reason why the deputy chair has asked us to speak was in relation to a process that we needed to have of handing over the speeches and the jacket uh, for member uh, more to the family. But uh, we will make an arrangement uh, to hand that over uh, to the family. I think there was some You are not audible, uh, Secretary. Oh, did you lose me? Um, I'm sorry, Chair. Uh, I don't know at what stage I got lost, but I think the only point that we're making, uh, Deputies Chair, is that uh, we will make an arrangement to hand over the jacket and the speeches to the family. We had some technical glitches uh, with regard to what we had initially planned, so we apologize for that. We also apologize for the glitch that we experienced in the singing of the national anthem and the embarrassment caused. We will investigate that and we will give the report back as to what actually happened to that. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. And again, before I really go and uh, make the closing remarks, Earlier on, the speaker's hand was up. I want to check with the speaker before I really close this. Speaker. Uh, thank you very much. The hand uh, means it's down. Uh, and like we indicated that we are all really affected in different ways. And uh, I must say, on behalf of this uh, legislature. Let's thank you very much for the contributions that we've really made and the words that were so comforting to the family and also to us as honorable members. And then you were really reflecting the role that our comrades have played, that they really contributed immensely in this nurturing heritage. They contributed in our constitutions. They contributed mm -hmm. in making sure that these policies becomes palatable to the working class and to the poor. And now we are faced with challenges. The country is now at this situation where we find ourselves and we call upon ourselves that let's go all out and quell the situation as leaders. Let's go and spread the right message. Let's go and lead as politicians. Let's go and lead as leaders that spring from our respective uh, communities. The situation as it is, it's not uh, inspiring any confidence, but now it is upon us it is incumbent upon us to make sure that we really quell the situation. And on that note, we are saying 
let's protect our families, let's protect our communities, let's remain safe all the time until we meet in the next sitting. For now, I want to officially declare this memorial service closed and with the hope that we'll really work together, move side by side and ensure mm -hmm. that at the end, victory is sitting. I would like to thank you and officially declare this memorial service closed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank, thank you, you, Deputy Chair. Thank you, Deputy Chair. Bye. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you very much.